Come celebrate the new Skin Ritual by Skin Potion, infused with champagne, peach skin, lime caviar, and lily of the valley. This is the perfect combination of the most crisp and effervescent ingredients nature has to offer. Introducing Alma Divina. Body Cleansing Gel is a new addition to the skin ritual. It has kojic acid and sea moss to gently exfoliate and hydrate the skin. The champagne extract illuminates and brightens the skin with a light, gentle lather. I love a juicy body scrub and this scrub is infused with lily of the valley which moisturizes and clarifies the skin. It also has aloe vera to restore your skin and relieve any skin conditions. It's the perfect texture, glides on the skin and leaves your skin smooth and luminous. I've always been obsessed with Skin Potion's Triple Butter Body Butters. Created with shea, mango, and cocoa butters, which are rich in vitamins, and they heal, firm, and moisturize the skin. And as you can see, the glow is top tier. The Revitalizing Body Oil is infused with Lily of the Valley flowers, so not only is it beautiful on your skin, it's also beautiful on your vanity. It has cherry seed oil to soften and strengthen the skin, along with watermelon seed oil to help restore your skin barrier. The Luminous Body Milk is creamy and lightweight, which is perfect for warm weather. You can wear it alone or as a base under the body oil. Love the scent of Alaya, you will be obsessed with Alma Divina Skin Ritual. Click the link below to pre order and don't forget to use my code Denise Adore. And special thanks to Skin Potion. Hey, sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like vlogs, fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So, me and dad are about to go have some lunch. I need to record a video real quick. So, y'all, I'm trying to get better. Y'all see, I'm trying to do better, okay? I'm trying to do a little film in before I go out. Because it's summertime, girl. When I tell you it's summertime and I like to be outside, girl, you, you won't get no videos in summertime for me if I had anything to do with it, okay? You know what I'm saying? I be trying to go outside, but we about to go get some lunch. Yes, we're going to eat. For those of y'all to be like, all y'all do is go eat and do... And do we if we don't do nothing else, we're going to get a meal. Okay, we're going to get a meal. Okay, just because you and your man don't go out to eat until it's like the birthday or Valentine's Day. Don't 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 do us. Don't do us like that. So I'm about to film this video real quick and we're gonna head out. Oh, so it's my perfume tray video. So remember in the last vlog I was told y'all I was gonna film a perfume tray video? Well, guess what? Your girl had a whole wardrobe wardrobe malfunction, and uh yeah. I was going to let it slide. I was just going to put a little notation on there like, sorry for the wardrobe malfunction. But, girl, I couldn't stop staring at it. So, I was like, nah. We just got to film the video all over, child. Because if I keep looking at it, I know y'all going to keep looking at it, child. Little bra pad was just hanging all over hanging all over in the front. Just, girl, a hot mess. Like, it was just a mess. So I was like, no. You know what? Mm -mm. Can't even ignore it. And it was like nine minutes into the video before I even realized that it was like that. And I was like, mm -mm. No, so I'm just going to go ahead and film that video again, and then I'm going to go ahead and head out. It's hot. It's real hot. It's real, real hot. But I just want to show y'all what I had on. Just some chill um, top, chill shorts, you know, getting a little auntie tees in the back. Okay, yeah. And I just got on some little green sandals with them. I'm going to carry my black bag, and that is the vibe. Scent of the day. Scent of the day. Scent of the day. We got to do scent of the day. It is your girl. Miss Skin Potion, Seven Mile Beach. Y'all know I'm a Skin Potion strand, honey. And this one is perfect for summer. It smells like fruity and just, just so good. Like, you can't miss with Seven Mile Beach. Like, this is perfect for summer. It gives fruitiness and just beachy vibes. But not like 
salty skin but like fruity beachy vibes it's like you on the beach with your like daiquiri frozen daiquiri that's what it's giving then the other day something real light girly beautiful miss meliora okay of course we're gonna spray her down Ooh, yes honey oh it's hot but this is cooling me down already now if you don't know meliora you you need to wear her in the heat baby ain't ain't no um trying to pull her off no other time of the year okay because I put on my butts when I walk by when I walk by when I walk by they can smell it yeah <laughs> yeah gotta get it gotta get it back there yes Melly or okay fruity black currant just kind of like you know like a soft fruity um kind of watery type of feel it's, it's juicy a little bit but like in a very pretty girly feminine way if you like girly feminine fragrances Melly or is gonna do it for you every time but she absolutely needs your body heat and when you pair her with stuff like skin potion because you know skin potion gonna be on you all day and tomorrow yeah it'll help the longevity of Melly or but that's the vibe that's the vibe we're giving today y'all I'm excited because it's summertime I'm off work I'm gonna go eat <laughs> you know, I mean what more makes you happy <laughs> Okay. okay let's head off for lunch and i'll see y'all in a minute oh i just want to say thank you for everybody that watched my last vlog y'all be showing so much love that y'all watch my last um perfume video y'all was complimenting my skin i really really appreciated y'all because who chair in this economy honey trying to keep your skin nice is hard okay like because everything will stress you out but yeah thank you so much so we'll do some skincare in this vlog and i probably need to record some skincare videos because y'all was like girl the skin is giving skin and i love that for me and i love that for y'all i love that for us because it's too damn hot it's too damn hot for some makeup it's too hot girl like who's doing it i can't i cannot as much as i love makeup but i ain't complaining about the heat i'm not complaining about the heat it's 90 plus i thrive in this type of weather my man he's He's slowly dying. Okay, he's slowly dying. This is not for him. He does not like this shit at all. He said it's way too damn hot. So you know I gotta keep him in the air conditioning. You know what I'm saying? The sitting outside on the patio at the restaurant. Mm -mm. Not in this weather, baby. It ain't happening. But I personally love this weather because that cold. I can hibernate. I literally can hibernate in the winter. Like I don't have to see none of that shit. Feel it. I don't want to go outside. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Like I just don't. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't. I don't. I just. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. so yeah y'all know i'm loving this but i'm just gonna make sure i make time for y'all i make sure i film and give y'all some videos some vlogs and all of things okay let's go girl because you know when your man is ready to go you know you got you gotta go okay because they be hungry i don't know what it is but when they hungry they get hangry we do too but i think they worse than us mm -hmm. so let's go girl Oh man, this is good. Mm -hmm. I 
taste it. Right. <laughs> I like them like the taste of how they come out when they taste it. You can't taste it. You can taste it in this. Yeah, you can. This apple brandy too. <laughs> this Friday field trip that us, y'all. Yeah, she was saying the same thing. Like we be trying to hurry up and get our content because we know our man ready to eat. <laughs> and he ain't gonna be waiting too long. <laughs> right. Get a video, y'all already be digging in. <laughs> But I think both of y'all be like good about letting us get our content. That's what makes you happy. Oh, thanks, babe. She's on the plate. I just put it on the table. Okay. You want some of my wings? I'll try one in a second. We'll see what this is good. You know I'm finna eat all the flats, right? Yeah, that's why you want me to be jumbo. Mm -hmm. I'm good with it. Oh, geez, what you doing? It looks good. You like goat cheese better than feta. I don't like feta at all. You don't like feta at all. After that last thing. <laughs> yeah, like, Are you fucking with the feta? I never had cornbread croutons. Cool, cool they look hella good. They sweet, too. Oh, good. It's that real jiffy cornbread. That real jiffy? <laughs> That's good, man. You know that honey jiffy be smacking. Berries in here. I never buy regular jiffy no more. Now they got the honey jiffy. That's what that be. Mm -hmm. So with the regular jiffy, I was always putting sugar in it anyway. That's why you always like my cornbread. So now they got the honey one. You don't really have to. Mm -hmm. I'll still put a little sprinkle, a little razzle dazzle in there, but yeah, you know. <laughs> I gotta learn how to make that hot water foam bread, man. But it still gotta be a little sweet a little bit, like, like Jiffy. Hot water foam bread ain't sweet. It ain't sweet at all. You getting grains and wheat and whatever. What, what they make hot water foam bread with? Corn? Corn? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They be crying. It's good with certain things, but that was never my favorite. I started liking it because my grandma never used to make it all the time. Yeah. And it just go with greens and hot water corn bread wasn't ever my favorite either. I was always a jiffy person, but you know. I like it. You like your salad? Yeah. It's different. Yeah. I taste some jalapenos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is them mandarin oranges or pe peaches. Oh, the peaches? Yeah. I don't know if I ever had peaches in salad. I don't know they do it when I was looking at the menu though. It tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. This one up. Mm -hmm. Almost definitely like goat cheese. Better and better. Mm -hmm. It's like cream to be for this bitch. That's that lamb cheese. <laughs> Turn this bitch to a giant salad. <laughs> this is not a season where you announce to everybody what you got going on. It's not a season where you start telling everybody the things that you've been working on and what God has shown you and what God has promised you. I feel like it's a season where you got to let the fruit allow your results to speak for you. Because number one, everybody's not for you. Number two, everybody's not privy to know everything. Uh, number three, there are seasons where you just got to move in silence. And I feel like this is one of those seasons. People are going to see you on one level and assume that's where you're going to remain. And they're going to wonder how you got from here to there. And guess what? It's going to be done in private. It's going to be done when people are thinking you ain't got nothing going on. You ain't working on nothing. And you just on the same level as them. And then next thing you know, God's going to catapult you. So in this season, listen for the whispers of the spirit. What is God saying? And don't tell everybody, because soon 
they're going to know it anyway because God is going to make it obvious that his hand is upon your life and that it is he who lifted you. Be encouraged. Be quiet. Good morning. It's matcha time. This matcha is so good. I'm going to leave a link, the uh, recipe link for y'all, how I like to make it. Uh, but uh, in another vlog, we'll actually make it together. But I need to put the recipe down there for y'all so y'all have all the ingredients. So we can do it together because this is so freaking good, y'all. If you're a matcha person, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hopefully you're not allergic to coconut, though, because the coconut cream definitely helps. Mm. It's so good. I was going to do it in this vlog, but I was like, should I just cut this vlog off? Like, cause do y'all like short vlogs or long vlogs? Like, let me know. Cause I'm a person, I like long vlogs. Give me an hour plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a movie, an episode, like a whole, you know what I'm saying? But some people don't like long vlogs. So it's like, should you split your vlogs up and then have two vlogs? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all like it. Cause y'all watch my vlog. So I need to know what y'all like. But yeah, it is early. I have so much stuff to do. I have to go run errands. <laughs> Go run errands. I gotta go to the post office. I need to go to Sephora. Um, I have to go to Sephora today because my girl told me about a new foundation and she was like, she texted me like, don't ask no questions. Go get it. Go get it now. I was like, okay, girl, you like it. You know, because she like foundation too. So, and she got a lot of foundation. So, if she say go get it, I'm gonna go run and go get it because we be here and we be knowing and we don't just be liking everything you know so i'm gonna run and go do that post office um walmart i went to the grocery store yesterday but i didn't vlog that because i didn't, really didn't have that much to get just some stuff for my um parfait you know just fruits and just little things here and there juice and little stuff for my son a couple little things for dad just like snack stuff i really had all the dinner stuff already so I really didn't have to pick up much, so I didn't take y'all in to vlog. Um, y'all know what? I was watching somebody's vlog, and people was in the comments saying, Oh, my earring. I slept in these last night on accident. Terrible. Terrible. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? It was a horrible sleep. And I didn't even take them out. I was just so tired. Like, when I realized that they was in my ears getting on my nerves, I still didn't take them out. I was tripping. I was so tired. Oh, we had a long day last night. Oh, but anyway, I was watching somebody's vlog, and she said that some people was in her comments saying you talk. She talks too much, and I was like, "Ain't that what vlogs is for? Like, what you supposed to do? A whole bunch of B-roll and montages and stuff like that? Like, I thought that's what vlogs was for, so they can talk, and it's like y'all talking to each other. Y'all let me know, cause I know I'm chatty patty. Like, I'll talk all day." Yeah, so, I don't know, y'all tell me, because that just blew my mind. I'm like, well, what the heck are you supposed to do in your vlogs then? If you, I don't know, I guess they was talking too, she was talking too long for them, but that's what I be expecting in um, a vlog. And then a little B-roll, and then some more talking. Like, what, ain't that what we supposed to do? I don't know. Y'all let me know, because, girl... I did just recently finish uh, watching Bridgerton, and if you if you plan to watch it, I feel like if you're a Bridgerton fan, you already watched it by now, but girl, that season did not leave me wanting more. It did not. Don't get me wrong. I like that Penelope, you know, found her love and everything because they was trying to make her like, I don't know if it's because she was plus size they were trying to play her, but Penelope looked it better than her sisters. Her sisters was a mess. They a mess. So, I don't even know why it was hard for her to find love, but I don't know if it's because she was plus size. I don't know what they did with that back in the day or whatever, but yeah, I'm glad she found love. But now that we know, she, everybody knows she Lady Whistle Down, it's like, I don't like that. Because that was the fun part. Like, it was the mystery of it all, you know? So, I don't know. They can, they can keep Bridgerton. I don't know. Mm. We're supposed to go to the movies today to see Bad Boys. I keep hearing good reviews about it. So I'm excited. At first I was like, oh, I want to see it. And then I was like, I don't know. But I've been hearing really good reviews about it. So I'm excited to see it. So I think we're going to go see it um, this afternoon. Because, you know, me and dad got to go to the matinee, child. We be in there sleep, okay? All that late night movies we used to do. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. 
No, ma'am. I remember we was bumping each other, waking each other up back when the damn uh, Wakanda came out. Black Panther, child, we was in there gone. Okay, trying to go at 10 something. Girl, we was in there knocked out. I know the people next to us was laughing. I woke up because Dad was in there snoring, child. It was too funny. So, yeah, we might go to the movies today to go see Bad Boys since I'm hearing good things. Um, I was watching Netflix the other day and I saw that Eddie Murphy is having a Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley new thing coming out on July 3rd. I'm excited about that because I'm an Eddie Murphy fan. I love me some Eddie Murphy. Um, I grew up watching Beverly Hills Cop, basically all his movies for real. So I'm excited to see the new one. And I mean, I don't know. Does he have an Icon Award from the, the Oscars? Like, because he should. He really should. Because what actor you know can play 10 characters in a movie by himself okay and the movie actually be good like you, you actually watch the movie you know what i'm saying like that man will put on a costume and be 10 different people and, and the only actor in the movie he ain't got to pay nobody and the movie be good child i was like you know what he needs an icon award and he been acting since like before i was born so you better get that man an icon award and get that man his flowers because that man is a acting genius okay he is why was i watching somebody's vlog or whatever i guess she's like a lifestyle girl and she was getting ready to film some content or something and she was like oh this is my scent of the day and it smells good and then she smelled it and she sprayed it a couple times and then she was like i don't know notes and all of that i mean the, the fragrance girl needs to spend 10 minutes talking about a fragrance and it was kind of like a little shady it was a, it seemed like a little shade and I'm like, wait a minute now, don't come for us, okay? Because fragrance is what we do. This is what we study. This is our craft. So, yes, we will. We can spend 10 minutes talking about a fragrance. I mean, I hope ain't nobody doing that. But 10 minutes, that's that's what I'm saying. That's why it was that shade. Was that shade? Because, girl, I was like, don't do us, okay? Because that's what we do. So, of course, we're going to explain the notes and performance and this, that, and the third. Because that's what we do. That's what we learn. That's what we study. That's our craft, okay? I mean, it's definitely still fragrance girlies out here that's, that don't know what the hell they talking about. But, but, I don't consider myself one of them. So, but, don't become for us fragrance girls because we really be giving y'all the tea. And all y'all do is, that, this smells good, and this smells good, and this smells good, and this smells good. So... I mean, so that, is that what we supposed to do in our fragrance videos? Oh, this smells good. Get it. Oh, this smells good. Get it. Oh, this smells good. No, people want to know more. They want more. That's why they watch us. So don't be coming for us fragrance girls because y'all don't know notes, okay? Like, don't do us. Because some of y'all wouldn't even think about wearing perfume until it was trending. But, hmm. I was like, no, she didn't. Uh -uh. Like, don't come for me in my job, okay? Because. I don't be kicking dick for your mouth at your job, okay? Like, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? But, mm -mm, ooh, y'all. I need y'all help on this last bit of tea, and I got to go. So, I don't know if y'all remember. It, it, do y'all remember? Okay, let's just recap it anyway, because I got new people that watch the vlogs. So, y'all remember when the lady commented i don't know if i was doing the makeup videos and we was talking about it or i don't remember what video it was was it a vlog it could have been a vlog it could have been something but anyway she commented and was talking about how her husband and his first cousin like she's been married to her husband for 20 years her and her her husband and his first cousin she never really liked the first cousin which is a girl and because they was just too lovey-dovey too kissy kissy sitting on laps at the family functions it, it just wasn't first cousin behavior and she just did did not like it at all and she never really liked the girl and she put that in the comments and because basically she was like i don't know what to do like and I had to delete her comment because I didn't want nobody to know who she was because I told her, I said, I'm going to talk about it in the blog to see like what the girls say because I gave her my advice. I was like, you know, I, I don't know what to tell. Okay, so this is what actually happened. She said that she ended up looking at her husband's, um, what is it, like website search history or internet history searches or whatever. And found that he was looking for naked pictures, nude pictures of his cousin. 
so at that point she was like oh no i can't i'm done i can't do this and she was like what should i do so you know i gave her my advice i was like you know i can't tell you really what to do like i'm i'm not the person that's going to tell you to leave your man that's a decision you have to make diego just went outside so he could use bathroom um so I, i'm not going to tell you that unless he is physically abusing you i'm not going to tell you that but if he's not physically abusing you like that's a decision you have to make let me go get him real quick now is that some weird ass activity hell yeah that's crazy work like ugh, like what is he looking for that for that for like it, and just the how they is all uh, why is y'all sitting on each other's laps and hugging so long and kissy kissy and just and y'all first cousins Ugh, like for me like if we grew up playing like we was cousins you can't never talk to me like that like like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so you know i told her i said well you have to decide if you want to stay or go like that's up to you what you want to do i don't know what to tell you to do you've been in your relationship for 20 years you know y'all got a lot invested in each other and all of that i get that but that behavior is very much so strange and so she really felt like you know they were screwing or whatever so we put it i put it out there on the vlog i told her i would she was like okay because i need to see what the girls is gonna say you know because my one answer she just she just wanted more opinions you know what i'm saying lo and behold a lot of the girls <laughs> We're going through the same thing or have been through the same thing not necessarily with first cousins some were friend family members but some were just like other women that were supposed to be friends and stuff like that you know so other women had been through similar situations so they were giving their advice in the comments yada 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 so some months had went by then she emails me back again and was like she ca called him on a recording you know talk, telling his friend about it and da, da da not necessarily saying anything like he slept with the woman or anything like that but just talking about her in a way you just kind of don't talk to your cuz talk about your cousins and stuff like that so that was strange and and i'm like well you know it's been months later she's still with him i i, I don't know like if 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 it's something that you feel like you can deal with and you ain't gonna bring it up every five minutes and you want to get past this then stay if, if you ain't gonna be able to get over it girl you might as well leave because well, i ain't telling her to leave i'm telling she have to make that decision but because you don't want to just stay in a miserable marriage just to be married so many people stay in, mar in marriages and be miserable as hell and unhappy just to be saying they're married i was married now my girl you married and miserable and who's doing that i don't care how long you've been in a relationship if it's been a year five years 10 years 20 40 60 80 100 if you are not happy you have to go period you have to go now i know as many reasons why people stay and everybody has their reasons ain't nothing wrong with that you have to do what's best for you but yeah so okay so she emails me back and said he was doing that then she says that he says that the cousin is coming in town because she lives in L.A. They live in Vegas. So the cousin, she's coming in town and he said he's going to meet up with her. And she's like, he's still messing around with her or still like visiting her, seeing her. Da, da, da. And he's like, that's my cousin. She's coming in town and, um, and I'm going to see her. And her husband is coming too, and da da da. So I'm thinking like, so I told her like, well, if his her husband is coming, then you go too. Like it's a couple's thing. I'm like, can you sit there with her and be cordial and actually like have a good time? If you can, then if she's bringing her husband, you should be going too. Or is he lying, saying that she he, she's bringing the husband to make her his wife feel more comfortable? So she feel like, oh, you don't, you know, ain't nothing gonna happen, or I don't know, just to make her feel more comfortable that she, she thinks his her husband is gonna be there, so it ain't gonna be nothing crazy going on. Like, is he lying? That's why I was like, girl, girl go, it, go and see for yourself. Um, at this point, y'all, I don't know what else to tell her. Like, for real, for real, it sounds like she's gonna stay. And instead of being miserable, I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. Shit, I don't know, y'all. Maybe y'all might have to do three some thing. I don't know. Cause that if it sounds like he's not gonna stop messing with her, and 
I don't know. I wouldn't want to do nothing with no cousins, nothing. That, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cause twenty years in, shit, you my cousin. Like so, what the mm -mm, girl? But I don't know any y'all. Y'all gotta let me know. I don't know what to tell you, chat. Cause, uh, and I really, I really feel bad for her, and I want to help her. So it ain't like I'm telling y'all that, cause she knows that I told y'all about it. And it's not like I'm glorifying anybody's unhappiness because I'm definitely not doing that. I feel bad for her like because that's a crazy situation. But it's like only it's only two options. Either you either you stay and you figure out a way to make it work, which y'all all might have to join in together. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I ain't never been in that situation or, you know. You move on with your life, and I mean, after, even after 20 years, if you have to start over, that's what you have to do. That's why I always advocate for women to have their own money and be able to take care of themselves because it's a lot of women, they just want to be, just want to be like housewives or just, you know, and, and it's nothing wrong with that. If your husband is the breadwinner, he takes care of everything, all the bills and all that, that's great, that's great. But always still be getting your own money because anything can happen to him. He can cheat. He can die. He can go to jail. He can, Anything can happen. Can you move out or move on and take care of yourself? You know what I'm saying? It's so many women depend so much on their man to take care of everything. If anything happens to him, they're kind of lost. Like, you don't even know how, how to pay the electric bill. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't even, you don't... Yeah, I advocate that women still always have their own money. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Because some people stay because they can't financially leave. And that sucks. I'm not saying that's her situation. Um, but, yeah, I advocate for that. I don't know. I feel so bad. I'm going to pray for her, though. That's what I'm going to do because that's a crazy situation. I want y'all to pray for her. And I mean, what do y'all think she should do? She'll probably see the comments, and yeah, we're gonna pray for her. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get out here and have us a good old is today Saturday, Jay? What is today? Today is not Saturday, today is Friday. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog right here or not because I don't want to make it too long, but if I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share. Of course, subscribe, girl. Y'all know y'all like my bonnet talks, all right? <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Come up in with your poof and disappear like some of my friends. If I was hitting, I was hurt, but you'd be by my side.